I think the Commonwealth think that its image, its credibility will be enhanced by making Sri Lanka the chair. Well, it can go ahead, but I think it should think the other way and rethink its position in this matter. Some organizations, the Commonwealth Lawyers Association, the Commonwealth Legal Education Association, the Commonwealth Magistrates and Judges Association, have advocated that Sri Lanka should be ousted from the Commonwealth altogether. Yes. Uh, do you agree with that view? I think Sri Lanka should remain in the Commonwealth of the country, but it should correct its ways mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uphold the values of the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Do you think the values of the Commonwealth are really so relevant in this modern age? Some might argue that the organization based primarily on remnants of the British Empire, is getting increasingly outdated. Do you think its values are still it's, relevant? Of course, these values are never outdated because these are eternal values. The independence of judicial rule of law, this can never be outdated because these have to live on forever. Otherwise, there will be no democracy mm -hmm. in any country unless these values are upheld. And you think the organisation itself remains relevant? Very, very relevant, very relevant because it can give leadership to various countries and correct their ways, call, them, call upon them to be accountable to the ideals of the, of the association and to the rule of law and independent judiciary. Do you believe the international community should be doing more to help Sri Lanka tackle the great legal and political challenges outlined in this report? Well, the international community can put pressure on the government of Sri Lanka to change its ways and to enact legislation to repeal the 18th Amendment to the Constitution, bring back the 70th Amendment, or better still, improvement on the 70th Amendment. There's much that it can do in that, in that respect. 